Introduction As we already know that how organisms get rid of gaseous wastes are removed by plants during photosynthesis and by animals during respiration. Yes, but liquid and solid wastes are still present in the body. So, we can say that the biological process involved removal of these harmful metabolic wastes from the body is called excretion. The process of excretion is different in different organisms. Yes, unicellular organisms remove these wastes by simple diffusion from the body surface into the surrounding water. Example, in amoeba, it is done through plasma membrane. While complex multicellular organisms use specialized organs to perform the same function. In Platyhelminthes, excretory organs are proton fridia or flame cells, while in annelids, it is nephridia. Yes, in arthropods, excretory organs are coxal glands, antennary or green glands, and malphagian tubules, while in molluscus, it is kidneys. Similarly, in echinoderms, excretory organs are dermal papulae, while in urochordates, it is neural gland, and in cephalochordates, it is proton fridia. In vertebrates, excretory organs are one pair of kidneys. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Understand excretion in animals and plants. Find out types of excretion. Understand excretion in human beings. Find out various organs involved in excretion. Understand excretion by lungs. Find out excretion by skin. Understand excretion by large intestine. Understand structure and functions of urinary system. Find out structure and functions of kidneys. Understand structure and functions of ureters. Find out structure and functions of urinary bladder. Understand structure and functions of nephrons. Study about artificial kidney or hemodialysis. Excretion in human beings The primary excretory system of human beings includes a pair of kidneys, a pair of ureters, a urinary bladder and a urethra. While secondary excretory system of human beings includes lungs, skin, large intestine, liver. Excretion by lungs Lungs excrete carbon dioxide and water vapor formed during the process of respiration. Excretion by skin Skin removes urea, salts and excess water as sweat produced by sweat glands present in the skin. Sweat is removed through tiny pores in the skin. Excretion by large intestine. Large intestine removes the indigested food as feces through the anus. It is a storage area of waste material that awaits elimination. Urinary system. The organs that form, store and excrete urine constitute the urinary system. It consists of a pair of kidneys, a pair of ureters, a urinary bladder and a urethra. Urine produced in the kidneys passes through the ureters into the urinary bladder where it is stored until it is released through the urethra. Kidneys Kidneys are located in the abdomen, one on either side of the backbone. 
They are large-sized, reddish-brown, and bean-shaped. The right kidney is slightly lower in position. Concavity of kidney is called hilum, which is always inward. Each kidney is formed of about 1 million uriniferous or renal tubules or nephrons internally. Kidneys must function properly in order to keep a person in perfect health. Nephrons Nephrons are convoluted in outer part of kidney called renal cortex while run straight in central part of kidney called renal medulla. Nephrons are the functional units of kidneys. Each nephron is a long coiled tubular structure that filters out nitrogenous waste material from the blood and forms urine. Urea is the main nitrogenous waste present in urine, so man is ureotelic in excretion. Ureters These are a pair of long, narrow, thin-walled and tubular structures which start from the hilum of the kidneys, run downward and open in urinary bladder. Ureters conduct the urine from the kidneys to urinary bladder by peristalsis. Urinary bladder The urinary bladder is thin-walled, elastic, pear-shaped and distensible sac present in lower part of abdomen. Bladder is a temporary storage sac of urine. The urinary bladder is lined with smooth muscles, so it is under nervous control. As a result, we can usually control the urge to urinate. Urethra Urethra is a muscular and tubular structure which extends from the urinary bladder to the outside. Urethra carries the urine to outside body. Bowman's Capsule Bowman's capsule is a double-walled cup present in the renal cortex. It is lined by a thin and semi-permeable epithelium of flat cells. There is a group of blood capillaries called glomerulus in the cavity of Bowman's capsule. Glomerulus is formed by the division of afferent arteriole. Bowman's capsule and glomerulus are collectively called Malfian body or renal corpuscle. Glomerulus is the site of filtration under pressure called ultrafiltration. The filtrate formed by glomerulus is therefore known as glomerular or nephric filtrate. Nephric tubules. Nephric tubule is long and coiled and is formed of three parts. Proximal convoluted tubule, PCT, loop of Henle, distal convoluted tubule, DCT. Proximal convoluted tubule, PCT, is a convoluted part of the kidney and lies in the renal cortex. It is the main site of selective reabsorption of sodium, calcium, amino acids, etc. from the nephric filtrate. Loop of Henle is a U-shaped tubule present in the renal medulla. It is formed of two limbs, descending limb which is thin-walled and ascending limb which is thick-walled. Descending limb is permeable to water but impermeable to minerals like sodium chloride. Ascending limb is permeable to minerals like sodium chloride, but impermeable to water. It concentrates the urine. Distal convoluted tubule, DCT, is a convoluted part and lies in the renal cortex. It opens in the collecting tubule, 
most of water from the nephric filtrate is reabsorbed through the wall of DCT and collecting tubule. Formation of urine The purpose of making urine is to filter out waste products from the blood. Just as CO2 is removed from the blood in the lungs, nitrogenous wastes such as urea or uric acid are removed from blood in the kidneys. It is then no surprise that the basic filtration unit in kidneys, like in the lungs, is cluster of very thin-walled blood capillaries. Each capillary cluster in the kidney is associated with a cup-shaped end of a tube that collects the filtered urine. Some substances in the initial filtrate, such as glucose, amino acids, salts, and a major amount of water, are selectively reabsorbed as the urine flows along the tube. The amount of water reabsorbed depends on how much excess water there is in the body and on how much of dissolved waste there is to be excreted. Urine is stored in the urinary bladder until the pressure of the expanded bladder leads to the urge to pass it out through the urethra. Artificial Kidney Hemodialysis Kidneys are vital organs for survival. Several factors like infections, injury or restricted blood flow to kidneys reduce the activity of kidneys. This leads to accumulation of poisonous wastes in the body, which can even lead to death. In case of kidney failure, an artificial kidney can be used, which is a device to remove nitrogenous waste products from the blood through dialysis. Artificial kidneys contain a number of tubes with a semi-permeable lining suspended in a tank filled with dialyzing fluid. This fluid has the same osmotic pressure as blood, except that it is devoid of nitrogenous wastes. The patient's blood is passed through these tubes. During this passage, the waste products from the blood pass into dialyzing fluid by diffusion. The purified blood is pumped back into the patient. This is similar to the function of the kidney, but it is different since there is no reabsorption involved. Normally, in a healthy adult, the initial filtrate in the kidneys is about 180 litre daily. However, the volume actually excreted is only a litre or two a day because the remaining filtrate is reabsorbed in the kidney's tubules. Excretion in plants Plants use completely different strategies for excretion than those of animals. Oxygen itself can be thought of as a waste product generated during photosynthesis. We have discussed earlier how plants deal with oxygen as well as carbon dioxide. They can get rid of excess water by transpiration. For other wastes, plants use the fact that many of their tissues consist of dead cells and they can even lose some parts such as leaves. Many plant waste products are stored in cellular vacuoles. Waste products may be stored in leaves that fall off. Other waste products are stored as raisins and gums, especially in old xylem. Plants also excrete some waste substances into the soil around them. Did you know, micturition is expelling of urine from body. It is commonly called urination. In diabetes, urine has excess of sugar called glycosuria. Normal human excretes 1.5 to 1.8 liters of urine per day. In female, urethra carries only urine, while in male, urethra carries both urine and sperms, so is also called urinogenital canal. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Excretion involves expelling of nitrogenous wastes, while osmoregulation is regulating the water level in the body fluids. Different animals have different excretory organs, while lower organisms have body surface excretion. 
Excretory system of man is formed of kidneys, ureters, urinary bladder and urethra. Kidneys have excretory units called nephrons. Each nephron is formed of Bowman's capsule and nephric tubule. Bowman's capsule has glomerulus where ultrafiltration occurs while nephric tubules show differential reabsorption. Hemodialysis is a process of separating nitrogenous wastes from the blood of a person with kidney dysfunctioning with the help of artificial kidney. In plants, oxygen and excess water is released through stomata.